Thumbs up. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Great. Well, my name is Sylvia and and I'm Sneha. And we're going to be talking to you guys today about Hungary as well as India. Yes. Uh, with with holidays and celebrations. So it's a lot of fun, especially with Thanksgiving coming up and Halloween was just now. I hope you guys yeah. had a good time for <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> it's always fun to dress up and do things like that. So, okay, let's just get to our presentation. Sorry. Okay. It's right here. And share screen. <laughs> Sorry. Um, just, I'll just share screen. Here we go. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, all right, so I'm doing India. Um, I my family was is from India. I've gone back multiple times, like maybe every two or three years. So yeah, I'm doing Hungary. Uh, I'm actually a dual citizen between the U.S. and Hungary. My family lives there in a small, uh, like smallish border town by Austria. So that's my connection, I guess. Yeah. And you know, like Sneha, I've gone back many times, and just. I don't know. I think we really value the um, impact like traveling and seeing different parts of the world has. So thank you guys so much for joining us today and hopefully you enjoy our presentation. All right. So when you think about holidays and festivals, what do you think about? Um, and you can just put like talk to your teachers and they can submit responses to the chat. Um, like when you think about celebrating holidays at home or wherever, what, what do you do? What do you think about? Okay. Someone right. says food. Okay. Family. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Sounds good. Let's see. Friends, Friends and, family. and family. Yes. What kind of events are usually celebrated? Money. Money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you think so? Like, is it mainly like uh, like religious? Uh, like, you can have a religious holiday, right? Or yeah. um, like celebrating a point in history, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving there we go. Coming yep. up. That's right. <laughs> Fun. Exactly. Christmas. All kinds of things. Yep. Someone said something different than a normal day. I, I like that as well. I think holidays are special. Yeah. Birthdays too. Mm -hmm. And you celebrate your own birthday. You can celebrate other people's birthday, like historical people's birthdays. Yeah. All kinds of things, right? So that's really cool. And a lot of a lot of countries have holidays, different holidays, celebrating similar situations. Sometimes yeah. it's uh, like a birthday, like a historic figure, or maybe you know some kind of religious holiday. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you guys for helping us. Now, get ready, I guess, to um, to raise your hand. So if you guys have heard of these holidays, raise your hand, okay? And then if you haven't, just keep your hand down. So I'll do the ones for Hungary and then you can do the ones for India. So has anyone here heard of St. Stephen's Day? Okay, very nice. How about Republic Day? Okay, that's all right. <laughs> and has anyone ever heard of like St. Nicholas Day or December 6th? Okay, got a couple. Wow, there you go. Very nice. Awesome. Okay. Um, how about Children's Day? Have you heard of that? Yeah? There you go. I see a few. How about Holy? Not so much. Uh, Diwali? Mm, a few people, yeah, have heard of okay. Diwali. There you go. Very nice. All right, so those are three of the big holidays, or some of the big holidays in India. Yeah. So, yeah. And these are the holidays that we're going to be talking to you guys about. So, we can start with the holidays in India. Um, India is also called Hindustan by the people who live there. Um, and this is the flag of India. It's orange, white, and green. It has a blue wheel in the middle. And... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Here's a few maps of India. Um, I don't know if you guys know where, like, where it is, but it's in Asia, South Asia. It's surrounded by the Indian Ocean on three sides. It's a peninsula. Um, there's this is the political map 
on the left and then the geographic map on the right. Most of India is flat. There's a few mountains to the north, but it's mostly plains or like prairie-ish. And there's a lot of rivers that are very important to the people there. And how many people live in India? Because it's a big country, right? Oh, yeah. India's population is two, three billion. So it's a lot. It's huge. Yeah. <laughs> So, like I said, um, three of the major holidays in India are Children's Day, Holi, and Diwali. Um, and here's a picture from one of them, Diwali, where we put out a lot of lights. Um, I'll talk about it more later. So, first, Children's Day. Um, Children's Day in India is celebrated every year on November 14th, so it was just celebrated this past week. Um, there's lots of celebrations all during, like during the day. There's special events. Um, teachers, professors put on um, like plays, and they put on like little skits for the kids to enjoy. They have lots of food and games. The local theaters will play children's movies all day. Um, kids can basically do whatever they want all day. They get presents from their families, all sorts of things. Um, it's celebrated on the birthday of our first prime minister, um, whose name was Nehru. He was a good friend of Gandhi. I'm not sure if you have heard of Gandhi, but he's pretty popular. Um, he was, he loved children and he wanted to make sure that the children of India had all the opportunities that they could so they could succeed in the future and bring India to a better place in the future. So he wanted to encourage that and wanted to celebrate them. Um, so on Children's Day, lots of kids wear, will wear a white hat, which is called like the Nehru hat, and um, will wear like a red rose pinned to their clothes. And they'll usually wear all white or all black. They like dress nice um, and go to school or go to any functions or events that are going on. So here's a few pictures. Um, here's a bunch of little kids. They look about like kindergarten, first grade -ish age. And they're all wearing white. They're wearing their white hats and little red roses and having a good time. Um, all the adults in the back are trying to make sure that they're having a good time. And here's a picture of Nehru on the right um, with the first Children's Day. And he's greeting a bunch of little kids and welcoming them and telling them to enjoy their day. Sounds like a pretty good gig to have if you're a kid. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a very fun day for kids. Um, the next holiday in India, which is really, really popular, is Holi. Um, it's celebrated in March on the day after the full moon. Um, on Holi, it celebrates the coming of spring, as like March is March, April is springtime. So it make, like it celebrates the end of winter, the coming of spring, and warmer days and all that stuff. Um, on Holi, everyone wears, well, the night before Holi, like that night, they'll put on a big bonfire and like throw like all their like trash and like things that they don't want, like from the winter time. It's like almost like spring cleaning. They'll just throw it all into the bonfire and like create huge bonfires and like dance and celebrate around it. And also the next day, everyone will wear like white, like um, they're like, take a nice like shower in the morning, like be all clean, clean their house, wear white and go out and celebrate by throwing colored powder and colored water at each other. And they'll dance and sing. And there's lots of like fireworks all day and bonfires all day. And it's just, it's just like a lot, like, like, like a lot of fun. yeah, it's a lot of chaos and a lot of fun. It's just, it's kind of crazy actually. Um, and it's, it's, it's important in India because um, it's one festival where social status doesn't matter, like rich people and poor people and like bosses and their employees or like kids and adults, they all like joke with each other, like play pranks on each other and they're all friendly and equal. And um, you give a lot of presents to each other and you eat lots of sweets and like good food on Holi and it's just, it's a fun time. <laughs> yeah. So, the last holiday, and this is a few pictures from Holi. As you can see, it's very, very colorful. Um, you have to be careful not to breathe in too much powder. <laughs> it's like powder just like soaks the air, mm -hmm. and it's it's a lot of fun. Have you ever been there for Holi? 
I have not. Okay. But a lot of places in America actually are starting to celebrate Holi just because it's, it doesn't really matter what like religion you're from or what, um, like who you are really. Just it's just fun. You celebrate springtime. Right. So yeah. And the last um, holiday in India, which is very important, is Diwali, which is um. It's around October and like the end of October slash the beginning of November, whenever the new moon is in those months. Um, Diwali is a festival of lights. It celebrates the victory of good over evil. Um, it's a Hindu festival, but some other religions also celebrate it. Um, and it's basically, it started off as a Hindu festival. It celebrates the victory of um, a Hindu god over a demon who was like terrorizing the world and he came and saved the day and saved the world. So um, the lights, like people um, put out lights all around town and like they line the streets, they line their houses, like windowsills and staircases and everything. And the lights are supposed to like guide the gods home back to India after like defeating the, the demons. So, all of India is lit up. Like there's so many lights, you could see it all night long. Um, um, there, I've seen pictures of like of sad like pictures that NASA has taken from their satellites of during Diwali, and India is just like super bright against the rest of the world. Um, yeah, and then you also give off. You wear new clothes. You give each other new clothes, and you give each other gifts and like sweets and stuff, and you just enjoy. And you celebrate like the victory of life and the victory of good over evil. So here are some pictures of Diwali. As you can see from the bottom picture, um, like there's a lot, like all of India is lit up. They light firecrackers and fireworks and um, little girls put out like, like thousands and thousands of lamps. And people also make like colorful decorations on the ground with sand. And yeah, the little lamps that they're putting out in the pictures, as you can see, are called dias. And I actually have a dia here. Um, if you can see, there's like, here you can hold it too. They're like little clay things and you just like fill it up with oil and you like put a little like cotton wick in it and light it up. And you just use these to like line wherever you want to put lamps and wherever you want to put lights. You can just put lights everywhere. So yeah. Very so, pretty. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful during that time. I'm sure.